the type of skills I think that are required to uh, be successful in business, not just to run a company, but to be successful, right. to get promoted, is your interpersonal communi communication skills have to be excellent. You have to be an emphatic listener. You have to be able to read body language and empathetic. And so I would try to put myself in, in the other person's shoes when I'm talking about any topic to try to see it from their perspective. Well, um, how I got connected to Columbia College uh, in the beginning it starts with my career at in International Paper Company and uh, my desire to move up through the company ranks. I started as a person stacking corrugated boxes in the plant and then was fortunate enough to move up to production planning. The more knowledge I got about the business and the opportunities in the world, I decided I'd like to have a career in sales. And what happened, I was told by the International Paper Company management team, that great guy and a lot of to offer, but I didn't have a college degree. And if I was able to figure out how to get that done, they would consider me for a sales position. Well, that's a big step, uh, leaving a job with a great salary, with a great career. I worked for two great companies, International Paper and Warehouse, where I learned a lot. And uh, I just decided that through, through the great training in my Columbia College education, that I had the skills and knowledge to build a business. When I started Gateway Packaging, I was a um, manufacturer's rep. Uh, very low entry of cost, and uh, the number one thing a, a company has to have when you start up is customers. Uh, we basically started the company with no money. Uh, we tried to raise funds, and we were unable to raise uh, funds for the business. So I took my uh, retirement money from International Paper, and was the cash that we used, used to start the business. You know, raising money is a big deal. And most people go out of business because they don't have enough capital. But I was fortunate enough to have my, my wife, Becky, she was a school teacher. So when I left my job and started the company, my wife continued teaching school and she had the insurances and the security that I thought I needed to start, the, start our business. We started the company uh, repping other manufacturing companies and sold rigid packaging, targeted boxes and folding cartons and things like that. It was a little later on that, we, that I recognized that there was an opportunity in narrow web printing processes the label business, that we started manufacturing pressure sensitive labels. And we grew from pressure sensitive labels into wider web presses and started making flexible packaging that was used in human food and pet food. Gateway uh, and all companies have challenges. And when you're starting up a business, the biggest challenge is getting customers and orders. Uh, actually, our first year, we did about half a million dollars in sales, which netted us probably about $50,000. But that being said, the challenge began uh, with hiring people, trying to find good people, and then uh, Get, getting people trained and it's all about quality, productivity, waste, and trying to manage all those areas with a very small staff. In my mind, as I look at people now, I'm looking for people who are optimistic. Negative people just drains the industry or drains the business or drains the family. And uh, we're try, trying to find the eternal optimistic people. I, I believe people in all walks of life in any business uh, that are extremely successful need the ability to want achievement. You need to be competitive and, and optimistic. Um, people that have those traits are successful, whether they're running a McDonald's restaurant or running General Motors. It's the, it's the same kind of traits.